A game of colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high-level sides go head-to-head -head and toe-to-toe? -to -toe? This is football out of the very top draw. Luigi Donnarumma begins a goal. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And it's an interesting-looking attacking. He's got to score! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, just look at this dribble from Barella. He goes past the defenders so easily, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And what a great finish it is. He just lifts the ball over the keeper into the back of the net. That's a well-constructed goal. Well, here it is again, and all you can do is admire the skill. That's a really clever goal, you have to say. Federico Di Marco. Mitrovic and it's opening up and foiled only by the crossbar pressure applied can they make something of it the crowd encouraging him to take it on oh he saved it well
Dusan Tadic. Can he find the right pass? Nice ways on the pass. That's still danger here. Sloppy in possession from Italy. Milinkovic Savic. Well, that had to go in, didn't it? I just can't see them turning this around now. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Mark workouts. A smart stop here. Be ideal for the counter. He's in behind. And a goal! Not over just yet. Well, let's see this again. This is counter attacking football at its very best. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. a decent delivery into the box and the finish is clinical he just makes it look so easy doesn't he Two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. So back in business here, the first 
period of extra time and it might well come down to mental fortitude who wants this more Just take another look at this, because the one-two to get behind the defence is superbly worked. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Moving the ball forward, how creative can they be? And a good challenge to bring... Can they square the game? Board showing one additional minute and threading it through. It might be. Oh, that levels it in the closing phase of this game. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it and then just look at the way he opens up his body here, times it perfectly catches it so sweetly, it's a wonderful strike it always had the potential to go the distance and it has, so a penalty shootout is next about to commence and as a player this is when you have to hold your nerve he had to score and he does composure is so important under these trying circumstances and he finds the net he could hardly miss and the penalty converts it here and he steps up to take the shot and it wasn't the greatest penalty, and it's been saved by the keeper. He's gambled on direction and won. And there it is, perfectly executed. So they got in front of goal, and up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. And just like that, touched onto the woodwork. But it comes down to this. In, and they win. That is a moment he would like to airbrush from history. Such high levels of pressure. He must score to keep his side in it. And he succeeds in finding the bottom corner. His turn to try to convert from the spot. In it goes! And he's beaten the keeper! Can he convert? Go for 
keeper beaten from the spot. cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer and Stewart he's thought his way throughout this match well, he was outstanding he hardly put a foot wrong did he without him today they would have lost this one